If you're looking for the ultimate baby monitor, then this is it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. If you've got a new little newborn in your house and you want to make sure that the baby is being taken care of, you need a baby monitor. Now there have been baby monitors for a long time. They are usually just speakers, so you can hear the baby crying. But this one has a screen on it too, so you can watch the baby as well as sing the baby to sleep or play a lullaby or a bunch of other things. So this little video baby monitor is the cat's meow. Let me give you a close look at it. All right, so when you unbox this, you get a bunch of stuff. First of all, we have two power cords here, two prong and a single prong right here. And these are basically the same. I can't see any difference between them. They will power the monitor itself, the camera, and then your handheld video monitor right here all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and set up the camera for your baby now one thing i will show you here is the camera unit is pretty standard what we have is led lights all the way around the camera so that it'll work at night infrared lights to monitor the baby it looks like we have a little status there and me eight right there and then you can see that this thing is on a little ball joint so if you have this sitting up on a stand or a desk or a chair or the crib or something like that you can move this around so that you can get a better angle on what you need. Now, the other thing I want to show you here is that we have a little hole right here, key mount hole, so if you have this mounted to the wall, you can certainly angle this up. I would say that if you have it mounted to the wall, it's going to have to be pretty high because it doesn't have a lot of articulation there. We also have little silicone feet here, so it shouldn't move around on you. I would say that probably the one thing I would like is maybe like a quarter inch screw hole so I could put it on a tripod in case I don't have something normally like a tall bookcase or something like that around the crib so that I could use that, but it's not a big deal. I haven't really needed it. Now, the other thing I wanna show you here is that we have a tail coming off the camera, and this is actually a temperature sensor. So you will be able to monitor the temperature in the room where your baby's at, which is kind of a nice little feature too. Then we also have a speaker right there, which you may or may not wanna use. You can absolutely talk through it, kind of like walkie talkie, but you can also hit like play a lullaby on your video monitor so that the baby has a little something soothing, right? So this is how this is set up. And then you can see we have have the power cable port right there so you can plug that in just like that and now you can plug this in so i'm going to plug that in and then we will try it out all right so i went ahead and plugged in the camera in the baby's room it is completely dark in there the infrared illuminators hopefully will work here i'm going to plug in the video handheld monitor here and when i plug it into power what you can see here we have a little silicone power switch right there so if i hit that what we should do is be able to power it on it says welcome that's very nice now one of the things that i will tell you which is really nice and it might be a little hard to see there but i can see baby sleeping in the crib one of the great things about this is that it pairs between the monitor and the camera automatically so somehow they are set up at the factory to work with each other there are instructions for how to do the pairing in the instructions if it's not connected. Now, I did want to show you there that it says eco mode. So what it's detecting is no additional sound above kind of that ambient level. So in eco mode, it's shutting off the screen here to one, preserve the battery life because this thing absolutely does have a battery. You can see lithium ion battery in there. So if I unplug this, it'll continue to work. And that's actually kind of nice. You can actually just turn it back on by hitting the power button right here and see the image. Again, you're probably not gonna be able to see it that easily because of how bright the lights are around here but you can see baby moving there all right so the other thing i want to show you is that we do have this little kickstand here so if you're sitting in your tv room watching a movie something like that and you want this in front of you so that if it does turn on and glow on you will be able to see that all right eco mode going off again here so to make this a little easier to see here i've killed most of the lights you can see baby sleeping in there now i do want to show you if i hit this button here what we do get is a menu there and i can go through it so we can go high mid low off and that is the sound level that it's going to detect so i'm actually just going to put it in low right there and now back to eco if you turn it off it's not going to uh, warn you if there's any sound at all all right and what you can also see up here is the signal strength so even though the baby room is on another floor it's actually pretty close so i'm getting pretty good signal strength here i have noticed that if i'm on one end of the house and the baby room is on the other end of the house that signal strength still connects but if you get something interrupting it like you put it down on the couch and the couch is interrupting it or human bodies sometimes you can lose that signal here i'm gonna keep hitting this button just to make sure that it stays alive you can also see we have the volume turned all the way up up there i can actually turn it down like this so you will generally i think kind of want that pretty high 
can see it's on eco mode right there and you can see that the battery is charging up because it is plugged in right there but it's really nice if you want to put this in your pocket walk around the home you don't have to worry about it and that temperature sensor is showing that it's 73 degrees in that room which is perfectly fine baby's all covered up right so if I wanted to speak to the baby, I could hit this microphone button and say, go to sleep, go to sleep, or something like that. The other thing that you can do here is change the brightness so I can increase it or decrease it like that. What I think it's doing is it's making the infrared illuminators brighter or dimmer. And if I hold down this button right here, this little menu button for two seconds, what we get here is a zoom. So if I keep hitting, holding it down, it's just doing a digital zoom in or out. So if it's not right up against the baby, you know, like this, I've got a wide angle and that's probably just fine. But if you're seeing something or the camera's a little further away, you can zoom in like that. Maybe you're worried to you throw up or is the blanket off, something like that. You can zoom in and see that as well. You can also hit this little menu button and go over to some other options here. So you can look at an alarm. You can play some music. You know, if you want to play uh, a lullaby or something like that to the baby and if you want to change the units for the temperature thermometer right there you can do that as well so it's pretty cool you can see the baby moving around there and everything about this means that it's really nice to have in your hand on the table in front of you while you're eating while you're getting some personal time baby sleeping and yet be able to hear and be alerted if something's going on baby's crying but also check in on them visually here and just make sure everything is a-okay so if you want to pick up this and me eight video monitor for your baby room i will put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out we can more and explore so much deeper